So Marta is a play by Marius von Meyenberg. It's a very simple story. It's set in and around a school and there's um, the main character is a young man called Benjamin who's probably 16, 17, we don't quite know. And it's revealed quite early on in the play that he has um, a very strong religious belief. And this belief is so strong that it means that he comes into conflict with a lot of the things that the school is asking him to do. A school is a, is a great uh, image for society because it's, there's a hierarchy in the school. You know, there's, uh, I mean, obviously in one sense the pupils are citizens. Uh, the teachers could be uh, MPs or politicians or whatever. And the headmaster is like the king or the president. You know, the headmaster sits at the top in terms of power. And uh, in this play, there are four scenes, four visits to the headmaster's office. Every time a problem arises, it gets to a certain point where the teachers have to then go to the headmaster. And we've all experienced that in our schools, haven't we? The moment that strikes fear into you, where the teacher says, right, you're going up to the headmaster's office and you go up, you get dragged down the corridor, I've had that, by the wrist, into the headmaster's office. And uh, what happens in this play is very interesting because the headmaster, I think, um, is a very jovial character. He's um, quite fly, quite relaxed. Um, he doesn't really enforce the boundaries in the way that we expect him to. And he's remarkably poor at maintaining control. And I think as a result of his wavering, his indecision, his maybe lack of, uh, he doesn't take any preventative steps, um, things escalate in the play. And I think um, that's very interesting because in the liberal world, we, what we want, what we seek often is a degree of compromise, of relaxation, of you know, an ability to talk about things easily and openly. But what happens in the play is that that becomes a problem. And the female teacher, Erica Roth, becomes much more rigid than the headmaster. And she tries to push things in a much more unbending manner. And the, so the, the contrast between the headmaster's approach and the biology teacher's approach um, is very instructive, I think in terms of how we, um, they're models for us in terms of how we respond and react, I think. I might have got this all wrong, by the way, because <laughs> I haven't directed the play yet, so I'm just talking. And this is months before we go into rehearsal, but you know, I'll get all these actors, we'll get into the room, we'll read the play, we'll have lots of discussions, and I might be completely wrong. But the fruits of our labours will be on the unicorn stage, and um, that's the moment for you to come and um, uh, see what you think.